What's up YouTube, Capital G here. So this is what most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is talking about, at least when it comes to new cards. This is pretty much what I've been waiting for, because I would say I've been waiting probably like the last five or six days for Konami to reveal something really spicy out of Blazing Vortex, and this is definitely it. I don't think that I was expecting us to get a new pot card, but uh, I'll definitely take it. It seems like every era of Yu-Gi-Oh! at least recently, we get our ourselves a very strong and highly sought after pot card obviously last era of brains we got extravagance which is one of my favorite cards in the game before that in art v we got desires going back to 5ds we got like um the pot of duality and you can pretty much say the same thing with like the solemn card so this was something that definitely piqued my interest and had me very excited anyways uh this is pot of disparity and uh, i love the artwork on the card because i don't know i've always just loved that big old door that that big old just dumb orange face from pot of riches <laughs> which is on extravagance as well as this art kind of suggests this is kind of like a crossover between uh pot of duality and pot of extravagance so it's a hard once per turn you know Konami ain't going to have us out there activating the same pot card multiple times. That's just not going to happen. You cannot draw any cards with card effects during the turn you activate this card. Effect is banish three or six cards from your extra deck face down. Excavate that same number of cards from the top of your deck. Add one of them to your hand. Then place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, have any battle damage your opponent takes. So this is a really interesting card. Card, right so i would say most players looked at the activation condition and said oh that's just pot of extravagance and it, it, it pretty much is similar but it's not exactly extravagance the, the key detail that separates the activation of this and extravagance is you actually get to pick the cards and that's really important especially if you're only going three cards because so many decks that use extravagance they don't really need their extra deck that much except maybe like two cards in there so if you're just banishing three you can just get rid of the most or the least important stuff that you're not going to summon get yourself you know a nice little like search I, I guess if you will or get yourself another replacement card and then you can still have a bunch of uh you know important stuff in your extra deck and maybe even if you used extravagance earlier in the duel and you have nine cards in your extra for a deck like Ultra Geist, you probably only need like one or two of those cards out of the nine you have left. It, it's nice to be able to potentially pick what you want to banish and not have it be random and get screwed over because you banished all your Hexdias or something like that. Now, what I think this card basically is, is I think that it is very comparable to something like Pot of uh, Duality because when you look at this in Duality, kind of similar effects i mean this card can basically just copy duality's effect you can go three cards deep into your deck but this has the potential upside of going six cards deep into your deck and while that can be that that can be important if you're playing a deck like i don't know basically any deck that uses something like mystic mind mystic mind most of the like burn decks and stuff don't need their extra deck imagine digging six cards deep into your deck even if your opponent negates some of your other cards and you activate this dude going six cards deep into your deck and you getting that mine might actually just like win you the game so that's kind of important and i will gladly give up you know over or uh almost half of my extra deck to like dig six cards deep into my um you know extra deck also this card unlike pot of duality does allow you to special summon and that can actually be very very important i thought about a deck like grimaju which plays like dangers and plays you know uh like other monsters like orochi and stuff like that so they do special summon i have to say though i think the whole like half battle damage or excuse me half damage that might have been unnecessary and maybe konami was thinking about decks like mystic mind burn and grin maju playing this because both of those would actually be like ideal decks for this you know hypothetically but they both want to be able to do big damage especially like if you're you know grin maju you, you're pretty much not gonna one shot anybody if you're only doing half battle damage unless i don't know your grin maju is just up to ridiculous levels and when you're when you're playing like a mystic mind burn deck it means half of the burn that you're doing that turn is just you know it's just going to go into thin air now i obviously think that uh you know one of the glaring flaws of this card is that you can't draw uh, you can't draw during the same turn. And that really, really put a damper on this card. Because I think if Konami didn't put that effect in there i think that this card could have arguably power creeped pot of duality because i could have seen so many decks opening with like extravagance and then immediately playing this card afterwards and basically saying you know what i don't need an extra deck i just got myself 
two cards from extravagance and then i got the exact card that i wanted off of uh you know disparity i think i'm basically in a good position i i, I dug six cards deep for that uh, dark ruler no more or that uh triple talents you know i got exactly the card that i needed that spear mode or whatever but I think having the no battle damage and the no draw definitely hurts this card. That's why I think that this card is in, is going to end up being more niche. Like, usually the strong pot cards, you know, pot of extravagance, pot of duality, pot of desires, usually them things are played in a ton of meta decks when they come out. This one, I don't think so. Like, I think I would I would have been fine with the battle damage only getting half, or really, excuse me, I keep saying battle, but only getting half damage. I just think the whole... Oh, you know, not being able to draw, I feel like that was unnecessary. I feel like you should be able to, to go Desires and then activate this after that. Like, it would have been so good for decks like Grand Maju and stuff like that. So, maybe you can play this in, like, Burn Install decks, but... I don't know. I'm not loving this as much as some of our other pot cards, but I'm sure people who are smarter than me will be able to figure out lots of ways to play this card. Anyways, what do you guys think of Pot of Disparity? Whatever you guys think about it, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, as always.